the biggest villain in baseball. That's what we're getting to today, guys. Baseball doesn't exist video. Go and check them out in the description. We've done a few of their videos. The biggest psychopath, the most hated man in baseball, the biggest weirdo in baseball, the best player in baseball, all that good stuff today. The biggest villain, kind of similar to the most hated man. I'm not sure who it is, but that's what we're going to find out. Subscribe, give the video a like, comment down below, all that good stuff. Let's go, let's According go. According to one scout, it is difficult to find a single talent evaluator who doesn't, quote, genuinely dislike Bryce Harper. Another scout okay, said Bryce he Harper. was a bad person. A team executive called him a, quote, selfish Snake. losing player. And Bryce Harper even said himself, on the field, he's a, quote, and a Bryce Harper has At least won two MVPs, aware. two Silver Sluggers, made six All-Star teams, while still somehow being voted the most overrated player by players four times. Since 2012, there isn't a single player who's been ejected more times than Bryce Harper. He's been intentionally hit by pitchers multiple times, gotten in verbal altercations with fans multiple times, got choked out by his own teammate, Yo. and got into a brawl so violent it ended a player's career. He's been what? called lazy, self-absorbed, and overrated more than anyone in baseball. Overrated. But in 2021, Bryce Harper proved all of this to be false, doing something nobody thought was possible while overcoming the scare most dangerous moment of his life unfortunately for him a lot of these people still hate him <laughs> well, there we go that's the one chant i do i can't quite get behind in america i like that one what makes Bryce Harper different <laughs> is that he embraces the role of the villain. It seems to make him better, and he is not afraid to respond. He's a heel. 330 million over three. He was the most publicized prospect in baseball history, while also perhaps being the cockiest, and he had every right to be Goes so. Hand in hand. Bryce Harper was on the cover of Sports Illustrated and literally called baseball's chosen one. And the craziest part about this is that on the way to the photo shoot, he crashed his car and was almost arrested because Bryce Harper wasn't even old enough to drive yet. Luckily for him, his only punishment was apparently having to view corpses in the morgue at the Clark County's coroner's office. He made the photo shoot for the article. That that's a wild punishment. Like, it's good he didn't get arrested, but my God, that's a weird punishment to give someone. Just go and look at these corpses, look what you could have done. I mean, I get it. But that's kind of weird in this, at the same time. I claim that Bryce Harper hit a home run 570 feet when he was a freshman in high school. That is the second Ow. longest home run in Major League history. There are doubts the ball actually went that far. But what can't be argued is that Bryce Harper hit the farthest home run in Tropicana Field history when he was 16. <laughs> Yo, what a beast, man. Harper has been booed by pretty much every single major league fan base, including. Come on, what's he done? Own. I want to know what he's done. It is not common for some fans to take this taunting even further. You'll never be as good as Acuna. You can try as hard as you want. You'll never be as good as Acuna. Ever. Even with as much hate opposing fans give Harper today, the taunting he received from opposing players and fans as a teenager was arguably even worse. By the time he was 14, superstar agent Scott Boris was already his advisor and was so bored with high school baseball, he dropped out, got his GED, and entered college two years early, which he describes as the hardest year of his life. Over 2,000 people came to the team's first game. Two security guards guarded the team's dugout the entire season to prevent fans from running in and his college baseball card sold for over twelve thousand dollars that year this is something i keep hearing about through these videos that baseball cards are absolutely wild especially like the rookie cards if you get hold of a rookie and then they go on to become like a hall of fame or something those cards are i just like wildly expensive it's, it's kind of interesting maybe i need to do a baseball card video let me know down below if any of you guys are interested in Collecting baseball cards and stuff, I, I'll take a look. I'm not going to buy any. I ain't got that money, but, you know, we can take a look. <laughs> woman tricked him into giving her his number, started following him around, and after being stalked for several days, the team had to call the cops on her. In the team's first scrimmage, the opposing team immediately started taunting Harper. He responded by hitting a home run and mocking them while running around third base. This continued to happen the whole year, so situations like this were not uncommon. Catch an overrated Later, though season, if he's hitting home runs, can you? told him to stop pimping his home runs or they would throw at his head. Bryce Harper told him, quote, you, I hit the ball 500 feet. 
I can do what I want. The two had to be separated. After making a bad throw, an opposing team's dugout started mocking him. Harper responded by giving them a bow and was immediately given his first career ejection. One scout described Harper as having a, quote, top of the scale arrogance and a disturbingly large sense of entitlement, adding that he was a, quote, bad, bad guy. Another report <laughs> claimed it was hard to find a scout who didn't genuinely dislike Harper as a person, also saying there wasn't a scout who didn't think he was by far the best prospect in baseball. He won the Golden Spikes Award, had more home runs and RBIs than anyone in college while using a wooden bat, and was so tired of getting walked once while getting intentionally walked. What does while using a wooden bat? What does that mean? They don't. They all use wooden bats, or do you use metal bats in? Because that's the sound is different when you watch like younger people play. I guess they use metal bats so they don't break as often. I don't know. Let me know. Anyway, and ended up hitting these wooden bats in the MLB, right? And he did all of this while he was supposed to be a junior in high school. But as dominating as his college career was, it ended in the saddest way possible. In the junior college world series, Bryce struck out on an outside pitch. While walking back to the dugout, he drew a line in the dirt with his bat to show the umpire that it was a ball. He was ejected and suspended two games. Fans were so mad, the umpires had to be escorted off the field. Umpires seem to have a Harper's college career was over. Bryce Harper himself admitted that very on the field he was a baseball. quote asshole. But despite scouts and fans saying he was a self-absorbed diva, not one coach or teammate in college had anything bad to say about him. Harper was just a competitive guy who wasn't going to take from anyone in a league where everyone gave him and when he went pro, he got even more of it. When Harper arrived at his first major league spring training, his teammates supposedly replaced the name on his locker with B boy, which was probably just some friendly rookie hazing. But his minor league opponents were not as friendly. In one game, Harper had issues with an opposing pitcher. He hit a bomb off him, stared at the ball, and after getting yelled at, rounding third base, blew a kiss in the pitcher's face. Harper also got his first professional ejection after completely losing it on an umpire after a strikeout. Bryce Harper I'm not uh, I'm, we're only a few minutes into the video still. I'm not seeing he's doing much wrong here. He just seems to be retaliating to people who seem to be kind of jealous of his ability. People have got their egos being damaged here because he's dropping bombs on them. He's, he's hitting 500-foot homers on the pitch. They're shouting stuff at him and he's doing stuff back. The kid's young. He the minors and quickly moved up to the majors at 19 years old, where despite never playing a game, 19. was immediately yeah, Everyone's an idiot at 19. In his first at bat, he hit an easy ground ball to the pitcher, then sprinted to first base in less than five seconds. In August, he set a record by rounding the bases on a home run in 16.2 seconds. That same season, Ryan Roberts hit an inside the park home run and only rounded the bases 0.3 seconds faster. In his second week in the majors, Bryce Harper got so pissed, he slammed his bat against the dugout. It ricocheted and hit him in the eye. He was bleeding out of his oh face, my had God. to get 10 stitches, but refused to come out of the game. In 2013, uh, he ran full I speed hate injuries, first into a wall in Dodger <laughs> Stadium. He was bleeding from his neck, had to get 11 stitches, but apparently tried to stay in the game. He ended up missing a month with a knee injury. Bryce Harper played with a tenacity <laughs> people weren't used to, and a lot of them hated him for it. In only his eighth game in the major leagues, Cole Hamels nailed him with a 93 mile per hour fastball. Oh, Later right in the inning, the Bryce the Harper stole home when Hamels tried to pick off a runner at first. Cole Hamels was suspended, later admitting to hitting Harper on purpose because he, quote, wanted to continue the old baseball and welcome Bryce Harper to the big leagues. Later that year, Ozzy Guillen had issues with Harper after he called him out for having too much pine tar on his bat. In his next plate appearance, he used a different bat and pointed it at Ozzy Guillen to show him. Guillen immediately got out of the dugout, yelled at either Harper or the Nats dugout, and kept screaming throughout the at-bat. After the game, he had even more to say to Harper. But this team continued to do the He might not make it. He's going to fall around with the wrong guy, and that wrong guy will kick He might not make it. I love this kid. Marlins outfielder Logan Morrison said what Harper did was, quote, kind of a slap in the face, and Ozzie Guillen called him, quote, unprofessional. After the game, his teammates covered... I, am I missing something here? I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I feel like I'm missing something because in none of these situations do I feel like this kid's in the wrong, man. He's got a guy shouting at him, accusing him of having too much pine tar in his bat. He changes his bat. He shows the manager his new bat, the opposition coach. I'm like, look, look at this bat. 
Umpire's not saying there's anything wrong with it. He's showing, you're, you're mouthing off to him. He's showing you, look at my bat then. And then he gets butthurt about it. Ah, I'm missing, clearly I'm missing something if this guy's the biggest villain. Pretty bat and pine tar. Had Harper on like it and write to my hero Ozzy from Bryce Harper and <laughs> he is a troll, it to Ozzy Gee. Bryce Harper basically just <laughs> he is a troll, lot, okay. was 19 and got a ton of attention. But he's 19? That was enough for many Come people on. to resent him, including umpires. In 2012, he was ejected just for throwing his helmet after a close play. That was a how dare you throw your helmet at my feet. I'm the umpire. Yeah, umpires are game. massive. The next year, he was Upset, he was called out on a check swing. The umpire was upset that he got upset and told him to go back to the dugout. He did, but threw his helmet while doing it and was thrown out again. And a guy 120 feet away throws him out. Hirschbeck was looking to throw him in out. In 2015, he got ejected for not getting in the batter's box quick enough while the umpire was arguing with his manager. Can't throw him out for that. All these fans came here to watch Bryce Harper play, and you're going to throw him out because he's not in the box. This might have been the origin story of Bryce Harper's disdain for umpires because since then, nobody's yelled at more of them than Bryce Harper. He's been ejected 16 times in 10 seasons. He once even got ejected for arguing after swinging and missing, saying after the game he was just too fired up from listening to Logic and Chance the Rapper. He's been ejected four times when he wasn't even on the <laughs> the field in 2019 he was mad about being called good out good music on this choice pitch, though. but waited to scream at the umpire until three pitches into the next batter's plate appearance the umpire immediately ejected him and bryce harper screamed even more you're a cry baby you're sensitive loser you're in the loser <laughs> in 2016 again i kind of agree with this kid man they do seem very sensitive i know you got to respect the referees and the umpires but they're overly sensitive from what i've seen in baseball we watched a couple of videos on it and I really didn't like what I see. They kind of give like power hungry vibes, you know, like dodgy cops. I'm getting that vibe from them. If you if you're kind of power hungry, you either become a cop. No, there's some amazing cops. I'm not coming at cops here, but you know, there's some bad cops out there. You become like a bad cop, or you become a baseball umpire. <laughs> and if you're a psychopath, you become a baseball pitcher. That's what I'm learning. Danny Espinosa struck out on this pitch. He Respect some cops, so I'm not coming at police then, officers. I'm just saying there's some dodgy power Bryce hungry Harper, ones, right? Who was in the dugout, apparently arguing even more. The next batter hit a walk-off home run. Harper came back onto the field to celebrate, stopped celebrating to tell the umpire this, then went back to celebrating. <laughs> An umpire even once I like this guy, Harper man. while he was playing center field. The next inning, that same umpire called this a strike. Harper argued, but somehow managed to stay in the game. He's getting eyeballed here, big time. Saying that he was now making an effort to no longer get ejected from games. Five days later, he got ejected for arguing he did. strikes. Harper even once got ejected during spring training. Maybe that's why some folks don't like him in the game of baseball. He is so competitive and gets so pissed off, the Nationals even installed a punching bag in the clubhouse we to saw this in uh, from punching the Red Sox as well. Harper's rookie season went as bad as good as it could. He was an all-star, won Rookie of the Year. The team reached the playoffs for the first time in franchise history. He had the fourth highest selling jersey in baseball as a teenager. And to this day, Bryce Harper put up the highest war out of any 19-year-old in MLB history. He was becoming the most popular player in baseball and also one of the most hated. Because when someone says something Bryce Harper doesn't like, he is not afraid to respond. In 2012, a Toronto reporter asked him if he would take advantage of the lower drinking age and have a beer after the game. Harper was 19 and doesn't drink, so he responded by saying, Bro, That's gonna a clown question, bro. This response went viral, became a slogan, and was even said by a senator. I don't want to answer that question. That's a clown question, bro. In 2013, Harper <laughs> My man's a uh, iconic Tehran, and apparently stared at the ball too long. The next at bat, Tehran drilled him with a 94 well, mile they're just people basketball. getting hurt. Harper the immediately feelings retaliated hurt, man. by screaming at him, and the bench is cleared. The Braves Twitter account responded by tweeting, Quote, clown move, bro. And if Braves fans already didn't hate him enough, the next year, while getting booed in Atlanta, he dragged his cleat over the Braves logo every time he went to the plate. That one's I mean, he disrespectful. Just does things that most players don't. That's disrespectful. Next year, he was voted yeah. by players as the most overrated player in baseball for the first time. He was also benched for not running out a comebacker, leading to even more criticism. Harper's extreme hustle had already resulted in him getting injured in three oh, out of his first oh. four professional seasons, which may have convinced him to tone down his aggressiveness. It also caused one of the biggest teammate-on-teammate -teammate fights 
baseball's ever seen. 2014, his teammate Jonathan Papelbon caused the benches to clear after throwing at Manny Machado because he stared at a home run too long. After the game, Harper defended Machado, saying he thought Papelbon hitting him was, quote, pretty tired and that he'd probably get drilled the next day. Which caused Goose Gossage to say Harper, quote, didn't know squat about the game and Sergio Romo to say Harper should shut up. Papelbon apparently confronted Harper in the locker room after the interview. Four days later, after watching Harper jog on a pop-up, he confronted him again. The two yelled at each other, Papelbon tried to strangle him, and the two had to be separated. After the game, Harper said he just wanted to focus on the rest of the game. What happens between you and Papelbon? Yeah, you know, I'm just worried about the last six games of the year. Were you injured doing the melee? Like I said, you know, I'm just ready for the next six games. Did you and uh, Papelbon have problems before today? Yeah, I'm just really excited for the you know, next six games. <laughs> Papelbon said he was wrong. My man's giving nothing away. You know, hopefully, uh, move forward and do what I can for the next six days. Despite the choke, Papelbon and Harper today are apparently friends, and Papelbon one admitted he was in the wrong. But according to at least one journalist, out of the 12 players he asked, all 12 were on Papelbon's side. Despite this massive distraction, Harper dominated Major League Baseball, leading the league in on-base percentage, slugging percentage, OPS, runs, home runs, and won MVP at 22 years old. MLB.com ranked this performance as the best single season of any player in the 2010s, and this happened right after the players voted in a preseason poll that Bryce Harper Over was the most overrated player in baseball for the second year in a row. He was also now the most feared hitter in the league. However, there was one pitcher who wasn't afraid of Harper, which led to one of the most violent brawls in baseball history. In 2014, Bryce Harper hit an absolute Ooh. bomb off Hunter Strickland in the NLDS. A few days later, he hit another bomb off Strickland, Yo. who got mad at Harper for standing in the box too long. Strickland said something to Harper. Harper looked at him a little, then got into the dugout and started yelling at him. The Giants ended up beating the Nationals and winning the World Series. But three years later, the two met That's again. They're bringing him in. If he hits me, I'm going. You better be on the top step coming out <laughs> because I'm going. Like, if he hits me, I'm going. Strickland threw a first pitch fastball at Bryce Harper. Harper charged the mound and almost nailed him with a helmet. They I'm sorry, but that, that, sorry, I shouldn't have paused during this fight. That helmet went nowhere near him. That was the worst throw. You can tell he's a batter and not a pitcher. That helmet went nowhere near the guy. <laughs> Let's go yeah, rewind there. Let's see these fists being thrown. Strickland threw a first pitch fastball at Bryce Harper. Harper charged the mound and almost nailed him with a helmet. They punched each other in the face and all hell broke loose. The biggest casualty of this brawl was Michael Morse, who got a concussion after he collided with his teammate, Jeff Samarja. Many people credit Michael Morse with saving Bryce Harper by getting in the way of Samarja, who is six foot four, two hundred and thirty-three pounds. Harper landed a nice right there, though. He took one, but he landed a nice right. Team was likely Michael Morse's last year anyway, but due to the concussion, he never played a single MLB game again. Harper was an all-star in his next three seasons in Washington, but never reached the insane level of production he achieved in 2015. And by 2018, he was once again voted the most overrated player in baseball, earning 48% of the vote, his highest total yet. But this is nothing compared to the hate he received that offseason after signing a 13-year $330 year. contract, which resulted in a level of criticism even Harper may have not have been used to. He's simply overrated. The good ain't worth the bad. Cares about himself more than the team. He's just not worth it. He's a selfish losing player. Wow. Harper proved all of these critics wrong in 2021, overcoming a potentially career and life-threatening incident to have his most unlikely season ever. But Harper's time in Philadelphia honestly got off to a terrible well, start. Through. After striking out twice, Bryce Harper got booed by his own fans in his first game ever That's as a so Philly. Fun. Later that month, he would get booed even more, and even though he had an OPS close to 900, said, quote, I'd boo me too. That month, he was also <laughs> publicly criticized by a teammate after he was ejected for screaming at an umpire in the dugout. He got so mad, he got thrown out, came out of the dugout, yelled at the umpire some more while being physically restrained by his manager, who was also screaming at the umpire. After the game, Jake Arrieta was upset with Harper for getting ejected, leading to rumors that the Phillies clubhouse had already turned toxic. That month, Harper also had a confrontational return to Washington, who now seemed to hate him. In his first at-bat, no he was though. booed and struck out. In his second at-bat, he was booed again and struck out again. 
Then Harper hit a double in the fifth, an RBI hit in the sixth, and in the eighth, hit an absolute bomb, pulled up a massive bat flip, and also celebrated with Phillies fans in right field. <laughs> the Nationals fans were not the only ones who didn't welcome Bryce Harper. While playing in Chicago, Harper caught the third out. He turned to throw the ball to a fan, then saw several Cubs fans giving him the middle finger, and he proceeded to throw the ball out of the stadium. Giants fans absolutely tormented Harper, and he made them pay multiple times after being called overrated by a fan. <laughs> Harper hit a homer, turned around, and pointed at him. Harper hit another homer against the Giants, cold, and after mate, getting cold. going around the bases, told them all to be quiet. But as cool as these homers are, Harper's best moment in Philly occurred at the end of the 2021 season. Earlier that year in April, oh, Harper took my a 97 God, mile per hour fastball directly to the face. And as scary oh. as this was, Harper got up and walked off the field on his own, later sending out a video saying, quote, Face is still there, so we're all good. It was basically a miracle there was no broken bones or a Yo, concussion. Yo, that's insane, and man. played four days later. In reality, it was way more serious than anybody knew. He returned almost immediately, but had one of the worst months of his career. He struck out 40% of the time and at one point went 0 for 16. He was eventually placed on the injured list, partially because somehow the pitch injured his wrist more than his face, but also because he needed time off to get over the fear the pitch to the face caused. According to his GM, nobody knew what Harper went through to overcome that pitch and that he didn't want to get into it because it was so personal. Harper himself got extremely emotional when it came up in an interview after the season, but as scary as this was, when Harper returned two weeks later, despite not even being an all-star, put up second half numbers so dominant, he came out of nowhere and and won his second MVP award. Harper has solidified himself as one of the hardest working, hardest playing, and undoubtedly one of the best players in baseball. Does this mean people will stop hating him? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> but that will probably only make him better. Do you guys want to listen to my new podcast with Dallas? Okay, guys, so there we have it. Bryce Harper, honestly, unless I've, there's a lot I'm missing out that's been missed out of the video, you guys can let me know in the comments. This guy doesn't seem like the biggest villain. It seems like he's hated, but... I'm not seeing very many reasons why, apart from the fact it seems like he started his reputation at a young age, right? He was very good. He was playing two years above him and he was dominating and people got the eagles hurt. People got angry. So they shout stuff at him and he's not the kind of guy just to take it. He's going to give it back and he is going to troll you. If you, if you disrespect him, he's going to disrespect you back and troll you. And that just seems to have spiraled and continued. It seems like as soon as he was in the league, he started off with a bad relationship with the umpires. And then it's just going back and forward, right? The umpires are kind of almost looking to get him out of a game. And he's going to react to that every time just to make the relationship even worse and worse and worse going forward. Same with other teams and stuff. That's that's kind of what I'm getting from it. Let me know your guys' opinion on Bryce Harper because you guys are the true fans. You'll have watched him. You'll know. You'll have your own opinion on him from what you've seen. And yeah, you let me know down in the comments. Do you like this guy? Did he annoy you? Were you a... Uh, a Chicago fan who's there flipping him off in the stadium. <laughs> Let me know. I'll see you for the next one, guys. Take it easy. Peace.